hi everyone welcome to this video in this video i wanted to go a little bit further than what we have talked about about the tcp reversal in the previous video where i have explained how you can run a kali machine so here you're running the kali machine here you have the server and from the server you want to establish a connection back where you'll be listening on a port and the target machine will be infected with the malware and you'll be able to listen everything so in this video, let's do a little bit more uh, technical. So in here, what I have done, this is my Kali machine. Okay, that's really actually a Kali machine. So if you go there, that's my Kali. So this is where I'm I'm writing a code, and the code is very simple. So if you go and go to Google for create a socket for in Python, you'll find a whole bunch of sample code. So here I have created a function, define connect to target. And here I'm assigning okay IP of that occur and this is my um this is the IP of my uh, Kali machine right now 192.168.0.24 and I want to listen on port 9999 okay so I can create a socket with this I have imported the socket module socket dot socket and I'm binding this to this so let's change that and use my IP attacker and with the port listening port so update this code just a little so it's not hard coded so i'm going to listen on this ip address and then that port okay and i'm listening for only one connection okay if i need to uh, listen for more and more number of connections i can also do that and let's update our listening on port uh, let's put which port do we want? listening port Okay, so that's my code. So it's, uh, once the connection is, uh, once I start this particular server with this socket, it should tell me which port I'm absolutely listening on. And here is the code for the accepting connection from the target machine. And it will print uh, what is the target machine IP address and the port, and that will be stored in the ADDR variable. And here is my socket is accepting connection. Now over here is the most interesting thing that is going to happen. So here once the connection is established, I'm going to create a command. And the command would be like input and then I'm going to create a shell command. And this is just for your own sake if you want to test. So what, what do you want to do? Come back over here. So we'll do we'll encode all the command whatever we are sending. And we're going to send it uh, the byte version of the command and let's see did we change it to uh how much are we listening no so let's let's change the 2046 so we're gonna send 2048 48 that many bytes we're gonna send um to uh how many bytes we're gonna we're gonna send okay and then uh, whatever we are receiving after we are sending this byte that is what we're going to print okay that is going to give me give us the output and then we're going to calling creating a main function connect to target and just following the uh, python base practices is the if man so you need don't really need all that stuff if you don't want to but i'm just keeping it just and i'm going to give you this code okay so this is where i have written the code uh, on my server side and on the Kali side what what I have you I'm using I'm using the socket and the sub process and the code looks very similar like uh, is connect to so the top portion of the code over here IP attacker listening port all of that is very similar until you connect uh, to the socket and then over here what you what you're doing since I'm sending uh, 2048 okay let's see uh, sending 2048 I'm gonna I'm going to receive uh, 2048 bytes okay and uh, again over here if I want to end my connection I have a little bit of code here if I send uh, the end and over here if it says the end it will just break out the command now over here is another beautiful thing that is going on where the shell command it will create a sub process and I'm going to use the p open I'm actually going to run the command as a shell okay uh, that's a uh, shell equal to true and whatever the output I'm going to pipe it out and put it back in the shell command 
So once I run all of that, I'm going to send it back to the Kali machine, wherever I'm listening. And similarly, I'm running uh, the connect to Kali in here and then the main. So let's run this code and kind of do the demo. Okay. So over here, if I run this code, now what is telling you that it started listening. So my Kali machine is started listening on the port 9999. Now think about this the code that I have here, you have created a malware and you have attached this code in a malware and once the malware is infected in the target machine, it just started a Python and you are able to run this code. As soon as that happens, if the execution is successful, what happens here, you see it says connection and receive from 192.160.0.26 and from this port so the target machine is now connected to the Kali machine which is where you are doing all that stuff so this is the TCP reversal you have established a connection okay now what 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 can you do with it now the interesting thing that you can do over here let's, let's look at where I am I can just do okay PWD okay print working directory and over there now is saying hey you are in this directory home student PyCharm. so this directory is actually in here in this machine target machine if I do a ls here okay all of the stuff that I have here I can see it let's do a let's do a clear here and some command if you're if you're typing wrong the code is intelligent it says hey the command not wrong okay uh, so that's the beauty of it okay another thing i actually closed too early let me rerun this code one more time uh, and what we'll do i'll change the uh, port to 9998 and here i'm going to change to 9998 just to do the demo one more time i'm going to run this code okay so now i'm running it at 9998 say you know you're going to run this code over here as well so in this one some other comments that you can also run like say you want to know like uh, arc dash a you want to run this command you can figure out the gateway you can figure out any other machine that you have in this particular network all the information will be back um, i only have one machine running if, so if there are like five other machines running and your arp table arp cache is full with the five other machines mac address and ip address you will get it right what about can you do like can you go like and do get uh, etc password can you do that oh my god look at that so now probably hopefully you are starting to realize the problem with the tcp reverse shell that i have i can these output that you see these are actually i'm getting output from this machine which is the attacker machine so i have a lot of control on the record machine now once i get an information about these files and users i can run all kinds of stuff i can look for sensitive information password files whatever i want and really really can damage do a lot of damage so i'm going to share this code with you and what i would like to do uh, uh, like you guys to play with some more commands like maybe you want to do if config did i do if config yeah we did info if config okay uh, okay there's my if config so this ip address that you're seeing this is the ip address of this machine not my Kali so establish the connection play with it and another thing this shell it's gonna work perfectly in a, in a windows machine as well it's not just this code that I have Python is cross-platform so if you, if you had like a like a windows machine that's got infected exact same same script that i have here is going to work so play with it have fun and understand the tcp reversal and the power and why it's it's being used in so many uh, active attacks okay so many attacks and, and how uh, you can write it and understand and test it and have some fun with it so go ahead do your work and if you like the video give me a thumbs up I'll put the code here and also on my GitHub uh, page. So you will have it. Enjoy. And I'm using Python 3 version. If you're using Python 2, the code will not work. Please use Python 3. Python 2 is no longer supported. It's a security risk. Thank you.